Welcome back. It is 6.50. The 91st Academy Awards is premiering right here on ABC Columbia Sunday, February 24th. That's right. Our movie prem premiere guy, his name is Matt Perrin. <laughs> He's going to be reviewing every Best Picture nominee until the awards ceremony. That's He's right. Premier, premier guy. Prem premier guy. Yeah. Today's film focuses on the legendary singer from the band Queen in Bohemian Rhapsody. Right. Welcome to day three of the Oscars overview. We're counting down and recapping all of the Best Picture nominees for the 91st Academy Awards, which will air right here on ABC Columbia next Sunday. Today's nominee continues in the vein of true stories slash biopics. It had us dancing in our seats as we watched it and manages to tastefully tell the tale of the rise of one of the most influential rock bands of the 20th century. It showed the younger generation the Bohemian Rhapsody wasn't just a fun song from Wayne's World, World, and it made us feel like we're actually immersed in the music scene of that era. So without any further ado, let's take a look at the Queen slash Freddie Mercury biopic, Bohemian Rhapsody. Our movie begins with a young, not yet Freddie Mercury portrayed by Rami Malek. He enjoys going out and following a certain band, and one night when he meets the guitarist Brian May and the drummer Roger Taylor, he learns the lead singer just quick, and after a quick impromptu audition, he picks up the position. We also meet Mary Austin, a woman that Freddie quickly falls for and who helps shape him into the stage personality he will become. After picking up a bassist, the four set to work on playing shows and scrounging together the cash to make an album. But they know they need to stand out, so they set about experimenting with different things to make original sounding songs. Quickly, the four dubbed Queen rise in popularity and start a tour not only around jolly old England, but the U.S. of A. as well. The band has always been about being a family to one another, but with fame comes struggles. We see Freddie and Mary Austin drawing apart from each other as Freddie comes to realize who he is. We also see Freddie start to deviate from the rest of the band in his choices of a hedonistic lifestyle, while all the others have started family. As the movie progresses, we get to see so much. We see how Queen rises to legendary status along with how some of the most iconic songs of all time were created. We see how rifts can be formed that are deep enough to break the strongest of bonds. We see how being loved by everyone is not enough to fill a soul. We see the initial dissolving of the band, which of course leads to one of the most triumphant returns in history, and we see the inevitable diagnosis that would lead to the end of an era. All the while, we as the audience are ping-ponging through every available emotion, but never not singing along with the songs we all know so well. So, what to say about this one? This was a film I was a little surprised got a Best Picture nod, but it is in no way undeserving. I just thought it was a fun ride and that a Best Actor nomination was brewing. But I'm thrilled that once again the Academy gave credit to a more popular film. The cast itself gives this film a real authentic feel. Rami Malek may be known for Mr. Robot, but he will from now on be remembered as Mr. Mercury. But in truth, all of the actors were spot on. You you realize that it's a movie you're witnessing, but you feel as if you're in the room watching the actual formation of Queen. Another funny moment of casting shows Mike Myers fighting the release of Bohemian Rhapsody while he was one of the main reasons that a younger generation know the song to begin with. Everyone knows that things don't turn out too well for Freddie Mercury, but the film uses camera shots and storytelling to get that point across without having to show you all the gory details that led to his diagnosis. It's well done and allows you to fill in your own scenarios. What's really fun about the film is watching all of the experimentation the band did to make all those iconic sounds in their songs that we take for granted. At the end of the film, you're completely immersed, feeling like no time has passed and wishing that the end would be delayed just a little longer. Definitely an emotional ride, but one you wouldn't mind taking again if for nothing else but the musical experience. As far as the award goes, biopics tend to yield Best Actor awards rather than the Best Picture statues, but this is one of the more fun ones in recent years. This has been your Oscars Overview. We'll see you Monday for our next nominee. Back to you. And stick with us. We'll have more news, weather, plus the answer to that trivia question. Coming up.